Hello, and welcome to another Dirty Tones Tutorials. This is not episode two, this is episode 1B. I thought I would just do an extra episode to show you how to add additional sounds to LMMS in case you didn't like the sounds. Today I'm going to show you how to add additional drum sounds. Um, so go over here to my uh, samples, and hopefully you played around with some of this, but you got all these samples here, they're in folders, and um, there's tons of them to uh, test out. If I just click on them, we can hear them. Now, uh, let's suppose you need more, like this isn't enough. Um, there's another sequencer that's available for Linux, and it's also available for Windows as a, as a, uh, a test deal, but you might be able to, you could definitely get the source files and get the sounds, but the sequencer is called Hydrogen. Now, Hydrogen has some really, really good drum kits installed by default. And then I'm going to show you how to get additional drum kits to install so that we can take these and add them to LMMS. Um, this is another great um, drum machine, by the way. It works pretty much the same, except for it's pretty much just for drums. But it's got a nice mixer, things like that. So I, I highly recommend testing it out. But I've opened this ultra acoustic kit. I just want to let you hear what that sounds like. So you can see that there are plenty of nice sounds here. That's, that sounds more acoustic and realistic. There's some amazing drum kits, um, and I'm going to show you how to get them. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's just just some really good sounding stuff. Um, Yamaha kits. This Yamaha vintage kit's amazing as well. It's gives you like really. some more uh, natural sounding drums It also there's plenty of um, electronic sounding drums as well on um, this red rocket kits pretty nice see that gets some snare drags look at that kicks even got some overtone to it that's nice so anyhow how do we get these sounds into here first of all how, let, let me show you how to get sounds into hydrogen because the easiest way that I found is to get these uh, kits imported into hydrogen and then we can copy those files out and put them in LMMS. So if we go to the web and if you go to www.hydrogen-music.org um, you can see here that under downloads if you go to sound libraries there are some drum kits here that you could go to and I've got those installed the red rockets here and Anyhow, here's some kits if you go there. Also, if you go to SourceForge right here, you could get all of uh, the libraries here. There's a couple that aren't inside of, um, there, there's a couple that's not inside uh, the install right up front, and this is how you get to them. You can go to Sound Libraries, Main Sound Libraries. And here's a couple that Cirque Africa, that's got a lot of Dijambes, things like that in it. Pacific, Death Metal, some of these aren't in, um, they're not in Hydrogen. So how do you get Hydrogen? Well, if you just Google Hydrogen Drum, the first entry is right here. And if you go to Downloads, Hydrogen App, here is the Debian, and here is for uh, Windows. Um, not really sure if you can install that or not, but you can get the source files um, if you want to get source. Here, here it is, and you can op you can actually open those files and find the drum kits inside. And to find the ones that are installed on their own, uh, when you first install, you have to go to um, inside Linux. Now under under Windows, it would probably be under Program Files, and you'd have to sort through it and find it. Just a little searching around, and you could find the files. Um, but I have found that if you go to File System and go to User, Share, then go down to Hydrogen right here, 
data, drum kits. Here are all the drum kits. Now you can take these drum kits and copy them to your desktop. Um, so first of all, let's go to the desktop and I will uh, create a new folder there. And I'm going to call this hydrogen kits. Okay. So now if I go to my files, let's make sure it's still there. Um, I can actually open up here and I can copy all of these drum kits. Copy. I don't want to move them. I want to leave them there so they still work in hydrogen. And I want to paste them here. Now if I open these up, you see that there's all different types of sounds. Some of them are waves, some of them are flax, some of them, uh, I believe that's all hydrogen has, waves and flax. I've seen MP3, I've seen uh, OGG, but they all work in LMMS, so that's fine. The one thing we're going to have to do in order to do this, though, is we're going to have to um, delete this drumkit.xml out of here. That is a file that's used by hydrogen, and LMMS does not need that. It just needs these samples. So first of all, let's go ahead and close this down. I'll close that one out. And so this is my downloads. I've downloaded those that I've showed you where to get them online. Um, these are the different ones that I've downloaded. The Hip Hop 2 was already in there, but Big Motto, Pacific, Cirque Africa, Death Metal, these things, I've, I've already downloaded them. So they're packages. You don't need to open them. But what you have to do is go to Hydrogen and go to Instruments and Import Library. Go to Local File, browse for the, the downloads that you did, and I've, it's already in my Downloads folder. So I can just click one of these and hit Open, and it shows it there, and I'll hit Install. And in my case, it, when that pops up, it says it's done, it's done, but it's, it shows you where it imports it to. So it imports it into a hidden folder inside of my home directory. So let's go there now, and we can see that in here are my sound libraries. Here they are. So let's go to my home library. To do that, I'm going to click here. And I'm going to go to View and Show Hidden Files. And now I can see the dot hydrogen. If I open that up, Here's a data folder and drum kits. Here's all the ones that I installed into Hydrogen. So I'm also going to take these and copy them into my drum, Hydrogen drum kits. So let's do that. I don't need this right there. So I'm going to go to Copy, Open this, Paste. Once this is done, um, we're almost ready to put this into LMMS. So now let's go and um, we're going to have to go into each one of these kits, like I said, and delete this XML file out of there. So I'll just move that to the trash and move on. You can see some of these have really big libraries, which is nice. It gives you lots of sounds. You can see there's plenty of different types of extensions, but um, that's okay. That will that will work with LMMS. Uh, where are you at? Here you are. Just the, all these drumkit.xmls we do not need. So I may pause the video. We're back and now I have gone through all the kits and deleted the XML file out of them. So now it's just the samples. And here's all my kits that we're going to add to uh, LMMS. So you can see it's just a huge library of new drum sounds that we're adding. So let's go now to um, our file folder. And let's go ahead and open up file system, user, share and let's go down to LMMS my menu here here it is and we could go to um, samples and here's our folders that are inside my samples so now all I got to do is drag this into here okay so you might get that error it's permission denied 
No problem. Um, all I'm going to have to do, I'm going to close this and this. I'll just open up a terminal. And I'm going to hit GKSU Nautilus. Ask me for my password. Now it basically opens me a folder of root permissions. So now if I go to file systems, user, share, let's see, file system, user, share, go down to LMMS. Go to samples. I can drag my hydrogen kits there. Um, so now it allows me to do that. It's basically that is a system file, this um, user share. So on Linux, it doesn't allow me just to copy files in or delete files. I have to do it as a root, and that's what that GKSU um, allowed me to do. Let's go to LMMS now, and we may have to restart it. So let's try that. Um, restart LMMS. This may crash the whole thing. Okay, it didn't. Um, I'm going to go back here now. And um, I may have to go. Uh, reconnect LMMS to my. Rec I'm using our door to record everything. So, anyway, now I'll go to my presets and we can. Hydrogen kits right here at the top. And you can see all the kits that we added. It's amazing. They're all right here. They all work just fine. Um, if I want to add, oh, the really cool kit. This one sounds cool for hip hop. Um, there's a, just a killer kick in this, man. You hear that? Oh, man, that's beautiful. So I can drag this over. Let's go ahead and make a quick beat. Um, let's find a. Yeah, there we go. Let's add a. Uh, some hi-hats. Let's try that. And let's go ahead and make a really quick beat here. Um, let's do... that down a little bit. Let's just add kick here, here, and let's put a snare on three. Let's see what that sounds like. So I mean you can even mix it up. Say you don't like that hi-hat, um, I can actually remove that track, go to my samples, and take a hi-hat from a different kit that I do like. Um, 909 is pretty cool hi-hats. No, I don't like that either. Um, let's try this Yamaha Vintage. Yeah, there we go. Close my samples here. All right, let's try that out. Anyway, we're not going to get too crazy with this, but uh, I hope you have enjoyed this, and I hope this gives you even more sounds to play with, and episode two will be coming very shortly. Um, until then, if you like, please like the video, please subscribe, and uh, see you soon.